31 participants have today completed Regional Police Commander's Command and Leadership course at the Senior Command and Staff College, Bwebaja. 31 of which three were female officers who attained skills of good leadership and governance. While addressing the senior officers, Inspector General of Police Martin Okoso Chola urged them to add value to the Uganda police and the community by doing what is expected of them, most especially when it comes to respect of human rights. Observe, promote and protect human rights as we respect the rights of the fourth estate. Be compassionate and caring. Have a clear mind and kind heart. As His Excellency the President said the other day, you should not shout at people. The Director Human Resource in the Uganda Police, Moses Goloba, appealed to the officers to maintain a good working relationship with members of the public if they are to curb crime. When the bombs blast or get blasted, they do not segregate whether this is a security officer or a civilian. We all get affected together because after all, we also have families and they are out there. So you never know who uh, is going to be affected. So it was critical for us to inculcate that thinking that you, civilians or Ugandans, are the first line of defense. At the moment, the Uganda Police Force has a memorandum of understanding with the Uganda Management Institute, which has been helping to conduct the trainings. The Director General of the Institute, Dr. James Sinkata, also addressed the trainees. Our expectation is that as soon as these other pieces go back to their various regions, they will implement what they have been trained into, but most importantly, they will change the way the police does its work. Uh, from various levels. The institute will also follow up on the trainings. Then after trying to study, we start redesigning our training to meet the deficiencies which I have discovered. It will be a shame that the training you have undergone after heavy investment would have no impact on your job. That will be a very big shame. So participants, go out there and demonstrate that you have been in the hands of UMI. This is the first set of regional police commanders to go through this kind of training. The course started on 11th of October 2021 and was completed today. After seven days of rest, the third one are expected to report back to their duty stations to resume work. Flavian Nkuze for CTV, PM Edition. Bye -bye, bye -bye.